In this video, we will talk about what it means to have an advanced cybersecurity program. In this series of videos, we have talked about what items are needed to create a basic cybersecurity program. The use of the word basic might cause you to wonder if there is an advanced cybersecurity program and if you should be concerned about creating one. The first question that needs to be answered is, what might an advanced program look like? There is really nothing mysterious about this. An advanced program is one that is mature. This means not only has it been in place for a while, but it has been reviewed regularly and modified as needed. The program has had time to establish itself and show that it is working and doing what it needs to do. This also means that the program has been able to become part of the overall project. It is no longer viewed as an extra or something that's off to the side and is just a box that needs to be checked off for NSF. The security program now has its own dedicated staff and budget. Management is aware of it and participating with the program and, more importantly, monitoring it and making sure it's meeting its goals. Another reason a program might be identified as advanced is that there are above average security needs. Say, for example, you're doing a lot of work with human subjects or HIPAA data. These concerns raise your security needs above those of a project that is just worried about keeping a web server and database secure. Advanced programs often have regulatory and other compliance drivers that they need to worry about. Oftentimes, an advanced program will either be using or need to use complex security technology, such as intrusion detection and prevention systems, automated vulnerability scanning, advanced network access control. This could take the form of the Bro Intrusion Detection System or Security Onion. Both of these are a very good source for technological control, and you might want to investigate them. When considering technology, remember, you'll have to dedicate individuals to work with it and understand it. There's not a lot of point in putting tools in place if no one knows how to use them or understands what the information they are giving means. There is a learning curve associated with these tools, and you'll have to invest time and money into your security teams learning any new tools. An advanced cybersecurity system will also employ audits to verify that policies are being complied with. These audits are often performed by outside entities that do a thorough review of your program and verify that things are happening the way you say they are. Beyond audits, advanced programs will also have very robust contingency plans in place for a number of situations. Along with these plans goes regular testing. Too often, projects think they have backups and other contingencies in place, but never check them until they are needed. It is too late then to find out that the backups were corrupted, or the person who was taking the secondary storage devices home lost them. As we have mentioned before, an advanced program will invest in their program and people. This means that your security staff should be encouraged to and actively participating in the security community as a whole. They should be active on forums and attending conferences. They need to be improving their skills so that they can better serve the needs of your project. In an earlier slide, we noted that advanced programs often have advanced needs based on regulation or compliance issues. Because of this, it is important to make sure your users and staff are well and regularly trained. Finally, an advanced system will have well-defined metrics in place so that the program can be assessed. You can't know if something is working if you are unable to measure it. An advanced program will go beyond basic measurements and have ones that really give good indications on whether things are working. An advanced program knows that there is no perfect solution to security. They are not trying to hide their failures, but they realize those are sources of excellent information. As has been stated a number of times before, there are regular reviews of the program. The thing that sets advanced programs apart is that these reviews are regular and comprehensive. They're not just a line in a procedure somewhere, but recognized as an important and vital piece of the overall program. In this video, we have talked about what it means to be an advanced cybersecurity program. 
If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI, 1234408.